My name is Kevin Stearman and I play Reggie Vilagazi. He's an artist, he's very certain about himself. He doesn't see eye to eye with one of his parents. I believe he's a very strong person because he chooses to live a certain lifestyle and he deals with stuff that a lot of men his age don't deal with. So basically his character questions a lot of ideals about masculinity. You know, the nice thing about Reggie is that it's like the same thing about everyone else. Your sexual orientation doesn't necessarily make you who you are. We're not only telling Reggie's story because he's gay. You know, him being gay is, is his orientation. There's so much more to that. Last season was finding himself within his own community, but this season he's finding himself within the whole world. So he's moved out of home. He lives in some dingy place. He works at a call center and he's just at like at a really dark place in his in his time right now. Well ma'am, like if you give me just a little bit of your time and I would explain to you how this amazing product works with it. Ma'am. Hello? Reggie is a free soul, man. He just wants to do art. He wants to be himself. Reggie and Bongi are very supportive towards each other. I mean, even in the previous season, he was the first person to find out that Bongi is HIV positive. And Bongi was also the first person to actually help Reggie come out. Reggie's connection to the art is very big. He feels like that's what he still has of himself, that he can still own and doesn't have to hide. His art is one of the things that also disconnects him with his father, you know, because his father wants him to follow in his footsteps, be an engineer, doctor, or like some form of academic, and Reggie's not, just not that person. You know, he's an artist. The main key message with Reggie's story and Reggie being who he is, a proud gay man at his age, is to change people's perceptions. The perception of that, just because I'm gay, I don't have to wear a pink t-shirt, or just because I'm gay, I don't have to be flamboyant. I think the biggest challenge is to tell the story in a good and respectful way. Someone somewhere in the world watching, that's literally their life right there, you know? So the biggest thing for me is to do this in a way that won't offend anyone, you know, or discriminate or even exclude. I feel like the story reflects a whole lot in terms of South African men, not even just gay men, just men as a whole, you know, because it questions South African men's acceptance of each other in society.